If you've watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom before, you'd know that there was a Carnotaurus. Well actually, the Carnotaurus was added to the Jurassic series way before Fallen Kingdom. Its origins date all the way back to 1995, when Michael Crichton's Lost World Jurassic Park book was published. Spoilers ahead, if interested keep watching. So, in the book, Dr. Thorne, Ian Malcolm, Sarah Harding, Richard Levine, and two kids, Arby and Kelly, take shelter from the Velociraptors in an abandoned village. Sarah, Kelly, Arby, Malcolm, and Levine stay inside a shack, while Thorne goes outside, looking for a getaway vehicle. Thorne comes closer to a tennis court, where he begins to feel a feeling of dread, and starts to hear breathing. He also thinks that he can see an abnormal change in the pattern of the chain-linked fence. Levine is the first to notice the animals. He insists that Sarah turns off the light, which she hesitates, not seeing anything, until she gives in, which is when she finally sees it. The Carnotaurs, yes theirs too, begin going after Thorn, but he manages to hide in a shed that's just too small for Carnotaurs to try entering. Sarah and Levine save the day. Shining flashlights at the beasts, who run away, not being able to stand the constant need to change pattern. These animals were horrifying, keeping other fierce dinosaurs like raptors away. Even the Tyrannosaurus would make their way through the area in a rush. The animals are depicted to be mainly green by our imaginations, probably because they're like chameleons, which are mainly green. They also can change color like them, but much more complex patterns can be made. Whether or not you like these carnas, or the one we got in Fallen Kingdom, you can't deny that these are fascinating, yet horrifying animals.